everyone, it is Fashion Week here in New York City and I've had a great time watching the shows online and looking through all the Instagram pictures of people who are backstage and at the shows and some of the fashion scene just outside the doors. One thing I noticed was the makeup. Of course, I noticed the makeup. Um, we are seeing a lot of cat eye style shadows and especially in the color blue. They've been on display at Jason Wu, Monique Lillier, and several other um, designers have been using that style of fashion. I'm going to show you some pictures of what I'm talking about. This is Jason Wu. Notice the blue eyeshadow, the shape of the eyeshadow, the way that it is placed on the eye. It's cat eye. It definitely comes out at the end. This is Monique Lillier. You see the same thing there. This, I can't remember, do I have it here? This is Rebecca Minkoff. See the blue shadow, see the way that it comes out pointy right at the end of the eye. So this is something that we're seeing a lot on the runways this season. This is from Jean-Paul Jean Gaultier. Look at that, that is so chic. That's, I love that, that, that is extreme. But I wanna do, I'm gonna show you how to do a version of that look right now using blue eyeshadow in that cat eye style. We're gonna pick up a medium to dark blue. If you're afraid of how intense or crazy this look is gonna be, go ahead and use a lighter shadow first. You can always go darker. I'm gonna use number 220 from Biotherm, which is a medium to dark blue. I do not know why Biotherm no longer sells makeup in the United States. I, for one, absolutely loved Biotherm. I bought this one abroad as soon as I saw it at an airport because I just, I love their makeup. They're still selling their skincare products here in the United States, but again, I don't know why they're not selling their makeup, but you can find them on eBay sometimes. Um, all right, so we're gonna start by taking an angled brush like this. This is from Eco Tools. And you're gonna outline, you're gonna outline the shape for your application. Now you're gonna start from the inner corner of the eye out. You are going to go right across the crease. And then you when you get towards the end, about two-thirds of the way, then you're just gonna bring it out. And then you're gonna put it right along your lower lash line and you're basically gonna extend that lower lash line to meet the line that you made above. And that is gonna be the shape. You can go as winged as you'd like or you can go straight out from the center right across. And we're going to do the same for the other eye. And just check to see that they are even and symmetrical. Okay. Now Jason Wu used a lighter blue, so this blue, this blue right here, a medium, a lighter to medium blue is perfectly appropriate if you want to have that Jason Wu look. Um, but Monique Lillier and Rebecca Minkoff used darker blue, and I want to go for the darker blue. Why not? So I'm actually going to use Naval Blue Pigment from MAC. Let's see if I can show you the color without spilling it. Very, very pretty. And I'm going to use Sigma's E55 brush to pick that up and fill in my lids. So I'm gonna dab this onto the pigment and start patting it on my eye. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. It's got shimmer in it. It's a beautiful color just on its own, but the shimmery gives it just a little bit more of a wow factor. And I love, love, love this color.
You want to be careful not to lose the shape of the wing. Now this does tend to get everywhere, so be careful that not don't pack too too much on the brush because it'll just fall all over the place. Just enough to get it right onto your eye. Now for my other eye. And there we go. See how simple that was and how gorgeous is this? I absolutely love it. Look what it does to my eyes. They are they look so big. They look intense, I but in a good good intense. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, if you want to clean up the edges, feel free to pick up the angled brush again and make the edges as sharp and defined as you would like them to be. Pick up a little bit more of that blue pigment and remember to tap away the excess. Now to add just a little bit more drama and sparkle and glam to this eye look, I'm going to use a liquid crystal liner from NYX. This is called Crystal Onyx. It's sparkly black and totally gorgeous. So I'm going to line my eyes with this. And of course, I'm going to do a wing or you can do a cat to go right along the bottom of my shadow. What I love about this liner is that it's super, super thin. So you can go as thin as you'd like, or you can just continue to put it on, put a few layers on to make it as thick as you'd like. And it glides on super easy. And again, I'm just going to go right along the bottom of the shadow. You don't have to go all the way out. You can. That'll be a lot more glamour than what I intended originally. But I'm just going to go do a regular cat eye. I mean a uh, wing. You can do a cat eye again, of course. For that you would just have to start going out um, starting from the middle and then just do a straight line out and that's the cat. Um, for a wing you would just have to do thinner. Go all the way down to the outer corner of the eye and then go up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to do the other eye. As the liner dries, you're going to pick up that angled brush again and there's always going to be some excess pigment left where you poured it out, whether it's the top or on a plate. So you're going to pick some of that up with the angled brush and you're going to go right across the lower lash line with the brush. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I don't know. I mean this camera probably doesn't do it any justice, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I love this pigment color. It's one of my favorites. My final step for the eyes is to line your upper and lower water lines with a black pencil. I'm using Engraved by MAC. Now for the rest of your face. Because your eyes are so intense, we want to go very neutral with the rest of the look. So I'm going to use Nude Pink by NYX 
to line my lip and fill it in. Now I'm going to take MAC's All Revealing, which is a nude lipstick, and pat it onto my lips. And that's it. You can stay matte or you can add a little bit of nude or a light pink gloss over this. For the cheeks, just use a very light pink. I'm going to use Dainty from MAC. And for those of you who are interested, I'm using Sigma's F15 to apply my blush. And I'm all set with my blush. And that's it. This is my Runway Blue makeup look for today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it out. Please let me know if you do, if you get any reactions in the street for this look because it is, it's it's very eye-catching. You will get noticed with this. And I, I personally think it's gorgeous. I think it's it does wonders for your eye, especially if you have darker eyes. This just makes them pop, makes them look much larger. Um, I love this look. Be sure to follow me on all my other forms of new media. I'm on Twitter at Jessica Y Flores one Someone took Jessica Y Flores. Who? But <laughs> I'm on Instagram, Jessica Y Flores. And I'm on Poshmark. I'm on Pose. Just look at the info box below. I have all my other new media. Pinterest, too. So just uh, on Facebook. Follow me on all those um new media forms because I have a lot of original content on each one. This isn't the only thing that I post on just YouTube. I have original content on my blog. I post discount and coupons on Facebook and I post a ton of photos on Instagram. So definitely check me out on those channels. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned.